Have you ever wondered if your birthday could have an impact on your performance in school or even in sports? As someone who was born in November, I've always wondered if this could disadvantage me on the volleyball court. And my thoughts and assumptions driving these questions prove to have a theoretical basis of support. In sport, children are often placed into age cohorts as a means to equalize the playing field and provide equal opportunities. But even with this attempt to ensure fairness, evidence suggests that those born in the earliest months following a selection or cutoff date experience a developmental advantage over their younger counterparts. This phenomenon is known as a relative age effect. Despite research on the subject dating back to the 1980s, the relative age effect became popularized through Malcolm Gladwell's best-selling book, Outliers, The Story of Success, and as a feature story on 60 Minutes. With increases in popularization, there has been more research done on the topic in various academic and athletic settings. The vast majority of relative age effect research has focused on hockey, football, basketball, baseball, and soccer, with few studies examining volleyball. Therefore, the purpose of our study was to examine the relative age effect among youth sports male and female volleyball players competing in the 2011-2012, 2012-2013, and 2013-2014 seasons. Our study was unique to the field since not only is inter-university sport research limited, but research on inter-university volleyball is non-existent. Moreover, sport participation at the inter-university level provides its own unique research challenges. Since inter-university sports take place in an academic setting and they encompass many age groups or cohorts within a single team. Thus, we had to take into account these important nuances, often referred to as academic timing, when analyzing our data and interpreting our results. Our study mirrored those of previous studies, with males demonstrating a stronger relative age effect than females over all three seasons, and females only demonstrating a significant relative age effect in the 2013-2014 season. Our future research looks to include an additional five seasons in hopes of seeing more distinct longitudinal trends. With future examination, we are looking to see if these relative age effect trends are either improving or worsening over time. In the end, the ultimate goal of sport participation should be to provide equal opportunities for all athletes. If coaches were to simply take the initially more developed athletes, who according to the relative age effect would be those born directly after the cutoff dates, they would potentially be passing up on younger athletes who may be just as talented but may not have had the same amount of time to develop as their older counterparts. Therefore, the results of our studies proved to be useful to athletic administrators who wish to level the playing fields for all student athletes.